Once upon a time back in season one, there was a man named Tamer, aka Mr. Good Aim. He was praised as one of the best hits can players in the world, and was very hyped up upon being signed to the Dallas Fuel. However, the Fuel began to underperform. They weren't closing out the games they needed, and on top of that XQC was busy being retarded. In their panic, they made a horrible mistake. They put Mr. Good Aim on Winston. It didn't turn out well. I don't think they won a single match with him, and they continued to perform abysmally. The Dallas Fuel ended Season 1 without making playoffs. Once upon a time also in Season 1, man what a weird time, there was a talented flex support by the name of Yuge Hong. He became famous during his time on Lunatic High, and expectations were high. However as the season progressed, Seoul didn't close out the matches they needed to and repeatedly underperformed. Their main tank Myro wasn't the playmaker everyone thought he was. In their desperation, they turned to none other than Yu Hong to play main tank. Obviously, this didn't work out well. They continued to underperform, and ultimately missed out on playoffs altogether. Once upon a time right now, the Florida Mayhem had a strong start. They made some seriously good roster additions and even made it to the quote-unquote Stage 1 tournament at the start of the season. There was a lot of hype around them. However, as the season progressed they began to play worse and worse. With a meager one win out of five games, they clearly were underperforming, and the team became stressed. In a random attempt to change things, the head coach made the move to put Checkmate, a DPS player on the main tank role. They continued to underperform, and ultimately missed out on playoffs altogether. At least based on history, that is how it seems to be going. It is no secret that the Florida Mayhem are doing horribly right now. In their past seven games, they have only beaten London Spitfire, who as of now haven't won a single game. It's embarrassing coming from a team who have qualified to Hawaii. Now, I'll say this. If OGE returns, their situation can be better. Tracer is meta again, and Yaki is absolutely insane on her. I doubt it'll be enough with everything else to qualify for knockouts, but they may put themselves back into a position to make play-ins. However, there is no indication that OGE will return, and obviously if he doesn't, they are screwed. Checkmate isn't a good main tank, and especially in this meta, a good ball or Winston player is essential. I just don't trust him whatsoever to stand up to some of the world's best main tanks in these matches. But, maybe OG can come back, or maybe even with Checkmate they can win a few games from bad teams. Well, let's look at who they are playing. They play Atlanta, who are looking like the second or third best team in the... A Boston who is inconsistent, but can compete with the best in the league when they're on. Houston Outlaws, who are a top team in general and have displayed a high level of competence in this meta. And finally, the Los Angeles Gladiators, who are still a top 7 team in the league despite their allergies to being clutch. They aren't playing any easy or even middling opponents. So even with OGE returning, which is an uncertainty at this point, I doubt their ability to take a match off of any of these teams. On top of this, the hero bands really hurt them. They are in the top three teams that played three of the band heroes, which obviously doesn't bode well for them. Overall, it seems like the gods conspired against them to make sure they go zero and for this stage. Now, what are their post-season chances? Could they make a comeback? Well, ignoring the fact that the team seems plagued with internal issues, making a comeback at any point unlikely, Florida is currently 4 and 8. The team above them, that Florida needs to place ahead of, the Toronto Defiant, a 6 and 6. Even if Toronto goes 0 and 4, which I personally think they will, Florida would at minimum need to go 2 and 2, which seems like a tall order considering their schedule. Overall, I really doubt they make postseason, even if they manage to turn their team around. So overall, yes, I do believe this season is over for them. Despite all the upsets, I don't see them impressing any time soon. They have good pieces, but it just doesn't seem to be clicking for them. Not even Yaki's Tracer can save them.
they don't seem to be very together, and seem overly reliant on individual skills in a meta where coordination is key. Plus, there are clear coaching issues. I feel for the players, but I think they need to work their coaching staff and possibly sign new tanks, as they have clearly lost trust it in OGE. GG go next I guess. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more. I am trying to hit 100 subs by season 5, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.